Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and we are live from the North Wildwood Beach here at 22nd Street. We're enjoying such a beautiful day out here. It is unbelievable how beautiful it is. Water temperature, I honestly don't know, but it's so close to the air temperature that you can go in and out and it's not cold at all. This is one of the first weekends where we're not having any lifeguards on their stands, but we do have them from time to time going out on jet skis, patrolling up and down the beach. And because we haven't had any storms down here in a while, the water is absolutely clean, like it's clear all the way down. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, thank you. So let's walk down here and I'll show you what I mean. I'll take you into the water today. You can see how clear it is. I mean, very, very clear and clean. I'll take you out, maybe the knee left, length, depth. Oh, I can't speak, I'm so tired this morning. <laughs> you can see. See what I mean? It's so clear. You can see the fish swimming by. I was out the shoulder length for a little bit. And you can see how clear it is. We're almost up the knee. Left. Jim says it's a perfect day. Yes, it is. Joanne says, is the water warm? It's not that it's warm. It's closer to the temperature of what it is outside. So it doesn't feel cold. That's why I always say, people always say to me in August, temperatures kind of fluctuates. But when it's really, really hot out, imagine if it's 100 out and the temperature is 75, when you come out, it just feels like it's cold. When you go in, it's cold. But when it's, say, 75 out and the ocean temperature is 72, it doesn't feel as cold. Earlier today, we had about, I want to say, four or five different pods of dolphins making their way south. And the beautiful thing is, is that they're fishing very close to the beach. So I would say probably about 200 yards from the waterline, they're jumping up in the sky, catching their fish. Uh, Fred says, no, diving, that is correct. Yeah, you shouldn't be diving. My whole thing is, is that there are, are no lifeguards on stands, so the most you should ever go to really is your waist. They did have lifeguards on jet skis, so that's why I went out a little bit further. But this is looking all the way down the beach. These are not a folks actually on the beach today. Obviously, we're getting closer and closer to four. Temperature is starting to drop a little bit. It's nice to see it's blue skies. It was kind of like, not cloudy, but it wasn't as blue. It's kind of weird to say. And because we're in the off season and the shoulder season, you can fish. So you've got this gentleman over here fishing. I don't know if he's catching anything. No, he didn't catch anything. And as a surfer like myself, you can kind of surf anywhere. Obviously, it's a little bit harder, especially when you get people in here. Today, there actually is nothing breaking. I mean, you got like something really tiny here, but you can't do anything. This is like an ending kind of surf. You can only really go straight. You're not going to cut up anything on that. Yeah, that's barely at waist depth. So looking down, I don't know if the surf is any different down into Wildwood, but not really a good, not even like a longboard kind of day. Today's an exercise kind of day. Like I went out and just swam for like 40 minutes. But you can see how clean this water is. It's paradise. Lisa says, say hello to my kiddos. Hi, Lisa's kiddos. Mary's joining us from Connecticut. Joanne says, missing Wildwood. Oh, hi. Oh, my wife, Julie, is in here. Hey, Jewel. Lorene says, I just got back from the beach. So disappointed. I missed you. We did see dolphins and we actually saw a cool stingray. Oh, that's pretty cool. She says she could have reached out and touched it. Well, hopefully you guys are uh, here. I love, I mean, for those who don't know by now, obviously, 22nd Street, that's my beach I go to. Mostly because you guys <laughs> see Port Pier here and Morty's Pier's over there because I got my water park season pass. And I go from the water park to the beaches. They're closed now for the year. Steve says, come pick me up. Sure, come on over. Got this boat racing down. I 
don't know if you guys saw my pork roll video yet. Put that on YouTube this past week. I was going to put up a fireman's uh, convention video today, but I went over there and they were already lining up for the parade, so I didn't really have a, a chance to do that. We also have our new Christmas ornaments for sale, which is Santa on a Wildwood rowboat. Brittany says, wow, wish I was back. Come on back then, Brittany, come on back. Bray May says, Miss Wildwood, see you next year. Hopefully one day see you, Joe. Yeah, I'm at this beach. Have you ever walked down the beach? Come on over here. It's fun. On Labor Day weekend, I walked over here just to go say goodbye um, to the fudgy wudgy man, okay, a.k.a. Uncle Dunk. And I ran into about, and I'm not exaggerating, about 17 different families that came down. And they were, they're like, we knew you would be on the beach looking for him, so we came over here. I don't mind. If you guys are ever here, stop me, say hello. I get stopped a lot in Acme over at 24th Street. I don't mind. I love talking wildly. And it's so great to meet you guys because we talk all year round. I'm going to get thousands of messages and families reaching out to us. It's pretty cool when I finally get to meet you. Lisa says, hey, Joe, we're watching from the hospital. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hopefully everything's okay. Katie says, they're just there Thursday and Friday, last trip of the year. There are things to do all year round down here. Sorry, my wife just scared me. Joe, how's the water temperature you think today? Beautiful, Wonderful. right? Beautiful day. It matches the air temperature. It's perfect. This poor guy has not caught any fish. He's been out here for like three hours. Prey May says, I look for you every year. Well, you gotta look harder. You know what it is? I'm very short. So if you're looking for a tall, handsome dude, you gotta look down. Next year we're gonna tie a balloon to his wrist. Jules says so she's gonna put it. Yeah, before. Jules says she'll put a balloon on me. Maybe a happy face. Someone actually asked me, do we still get banner planes on weekends? Yeah, for now on, at least for the next few weekends. You know, we got Fireman's Convention, then we got the uh, uh, the Fall Irish Festival. Then we have the Race of Gentlemen, and then we still have like things on the weekends. People always assume that after Labor Day we shut down. We don't. This is as they call local summer because, I mean, you can see the beaches are always empty and it's so hot out. And most businesses are closed during the middle of the week. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Mark says, hi, Joey. Hope to meet you someday. Christine says, it looks beautiful. Carol says, I miss it so much. Haven't been home in over 10, 10 years. Oh, my gosh. Mary's it down here and it's beautiful. Water feels so good. That it does. There's my beautiful wife. It's like the only... There's a few people down that way in the water. Mostly because I think people are going back to the house to change. He's casting out. And says she's in Wildwood. You see her shadow. Look how clear the water is. It looks like paradise. Beautiful. I'm getting tickled right now. <laughs> Hair's tickling me. <laughs> it's a beautiful sail, but I wish the iPhone had like a really good zoom, but you can see the sailboat. It shoots in 4K, but it doesn't oh, it doesn't like go live in 4K. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Uh, keep an eye out. I do have the the brand new uh, Wildwood Christmas ornaments out, so make sure you grab them. We brought back the Sa the tram car, Santa driving his tram car, and of course we still have uh, our new one, which is the Santa rowing a Wildwood rowboat. So if, you any, if you want any info on that, let me know. But we're going to go. Thank you for joining me. Stay safe, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.